Hello there. Um, my name is Colleen Menning, and I am a paparazzi uh, independent consultant. And I am going to show you how to use Cinch Share to make posts, uh, schedule posts ahead of time, so that you can free up your time um, doing other things. Um, I'm also going to show you a great feature for posting and creating new Facebook parties with with CinchShare. Um, this program is super, super easy, and it allows you to pre-schedule your posts so that you're not sitting in front of a computer every single day. This helps you stay consistent with your business, which is very, very important. It's one of the most important things in your business, paparazzi business, um, consistency. And um, it makes doing a Facebook party really, really quick and easy. And again, you don't have to be there the entire time while you're um, doing your party. So you could be making dinner for your family or, you know, doing whatever while your party is automatically running on its own. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. So... Cinch Share is a paid program. Um, I believe it was. I believe it's ten dollars a month. Um, you can, as you can see, you can get a free trial. So if you go to cinchshare.com right here, um, and you click on Begin Your Free Trial. <clears throat> now, just an FYI, my computer is running extremely slow with this program. I don't know why. So hopefully you'll have some patience. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so yeah, it's $10 a month with a monthly subscription. Um, you do have seven days, so you can sign up for seven days and test it out and see if it's something for you. Um, I would not, I, I would suggest that you wait until you know that you have some time to um, play around with it before you sign up for your, your free trial because Seven days isn't very long, and it'll go very fast. I've done that before. I've signed up for something for a free trial, and then I get really busy, and I forget I even did it, and, and then, bam, now I'm paying for it. So, um, if you have a few days free where you know you can devote some time to check it out, um, then sign up for that free trial. And then, um, so it's $8.34 a month if you bill annually, so they're going to bill you all at once for that. Or you can do a ten dollar month monthly subscription. Now, one thing about Cinch Share too, I believe you can also put your account on hold um, for a couple of months, for a month here or a month there, and I think you get charged like a couple dollars. So if you know you're not going to be using it for for a month or so, um, you can do that. So they they do allow you to do that once in a while, because um, you know sometimes we're just not as busy and we don't have as many Facebook parties, but you know, even if you're not doing Facebook parties, I like to try to get like all of my posts that I post in my VIP group. I like to put them all on at once. I sit down for an hour or two, um, one day a week and I can post everything for the entire week or two or two weeks. You can go as long as you need to, but, um, I like to do a week or two at a time but I sit down once, get them all scheduled, and then I don't have to be, every single night, be posting something different. So it really does save you quite a bit of time, even if you're not doing parties, to just post in your VIP group. So um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to back up. I'm going to log in here, and I'm going to show you how um, Sense Share works, and then I'm going to go over a couple of features that are pretty cool, and I'll show you... Um, how I use Cinch Share. So like I said, it does take a minute. It's very slow. But you know, it Cinch Share for ten dollars a month, it's it's a really great deal. Um, I know there's other scheduling programs out there, and you can schedule your posts on Facebook. Um, but it gets quite confusing when you schedule a lot. If you're doing a, a post here or there um, on Facebook and you're scheduling it, doing their little, you know, scheduler, um, 
it's not too bad. But if you're trying to do a lot of them, um, it's really confusing to see, to remember what you've scheduled and how much you've scheduled. And especially if you're trying to do a Facebook party, um, I, I think that would be a lot more difficult. Oh my gosh, good grief, this is slow. <laughs> I'm not sure why this is taking so long, but I know that some of it, it, it loads a lot of stuff. So also, um, since share is now available for Instagram and I believe Twitter and I'll show you, um, but I'm just going to show you Facebook today. Okay. So the first thing, so you, when you sign in for to your account, you're going to come automatically be signed in to schedule a post. Um, so this is where the magic happens, but you do have to set this up a little bit first. So you're gonna see over here on the left-hand side, you've got your schedule a post, which is the page we're on now. And you can see I've got posts already scheduled. Um, you've got your networks. You've got your text clips. Your library. And your user guide and this is wonderful so if you forget how to do something they really have a lot of a lot of great um, just you know screenshots of, of each page and how to to do all kinds of different things in um, since share so it really is helpful to have that so the first thing you're going to do though is we need to set up our networks because we need to tell um, since share where we are going to post our posts. So as you can see in here, um, I've got my VIP group, I've got my team page, I've got my um, mobile boutique page, that's my, my actual business page, and then I also have a, a model horse uh, business that I do and I have a page for that. Um, now that's all that I've got showing here, but I can add my timeline. So if I want to post something to my personal timeline and schedule it, I could also add it here as well. So um, let's click over to our network page and wait 10 minutes for it to load. Oh my goodness. So when you first um, sign up for Cinch Share, um, there is something you'll have to do for your Facebook page or for your Facebook groups. Facebook changed their processes again, their algorithms, all that stuff. They, you know, they, they're constantly changing. So they made a change that conflicted with Cinch Share. But Cinch Share worked out the problem with Facebook, and there is a little step that you do need to do on Facebook now. Um, I do have a separate video for that on my YouTube channel, but I can show you real quick on this one too, kind of where you'll find that. Um, because you do have to add the Cinch Share app to your Facebook groups now in order for Cinch Share to be allowed to post in there. So I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Okay, so here is your networks. So you can see Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, are your three choices. We're going to stick with Facebook right now, but you can set up your different um, networks for, for each of these um, uh, social media platforms. So um, when you first sign in here, I believe, now it, it's kind of hard for me to say because I've already got my my account set up, but I believe it'll give you a an option to add your your pages and once you do, then you're going to have them all in here. Um, and then you can see where it's got the little heart. That means that this is a favorite. If you do click on the favorite, that's going to show on your schedule, a post page. So this was one of the pages or one of my, my groups that I selected that I post to all the time. So I definitely want that to show up in my scheduler. Um, I have a team page, so I've selected that one, and, um, these are other pages or groups, well, these are groups that I'm associated with that I am 
the admin for. Okay, so I don't post to these hardly ever, and if I do, I don't schedule them, so I don't want to select those. Um, so I'm going to leave those blank. So the next one is your Facebook pages. So I do um, Shock Couture. So if I wanted to schedule posts for that page, I could select that just by clicking on the heart. Okay. Oh my gosh, my computer. Uh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, in order for it to show up here in my post scheduler, um, you just click the heart. So you want the heart to be uh, blue, dark blue. And then that means it's going to show up. So if I decide, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to post to that one with Cinch there, I can uncheck it. Eventually. So these little check boxes are your defaults as well. So you can select these to be your defaults on that page as well. So um, you can select those or not. And then this means you want to hide the network. So, um, you know, this, I don't even use this page. I could hide that network by clicking the little I. And now it's not on there, okay? So I don't need to be seeing that one all the time. Not that it really matters, but, you know, you can hide it. And then if you do want to see what's hidden, just click back up here on Show All, and it'll unhide everything for you. Super easy. So once you get in here, just select the ones that you want to be your favorites. Make sure you check these over here for your defaults um, so that you get them all added to this page. And then make sure that you, as you come in to Scent Share, um, it would be a good habit to, to come in here and just hit Refresh Networks. So it's because anytime you have a new album or make any kind of changes to your pages, um, refreshing it is going to tell Scent Share or alert Scent Share to all the changes. And so Scent Share is going to be able to find those changes and have those available on here too. So, you know, if I wanted to add or post to a new page and I didn't hit refresh, it wouldn't know that I created a new page. So you definitely definitely want to get in the habit of um, hitting the refresh button, even if it takes forever. So, um, after this is done, I'm going to show you... Um, what a text clip is. So text clips are this, ha it's a handy little tool where if you know that you're going to always uh, post your website address to every post that you do, instead of having to type that every time, you could create a text clip. And the text clip will be available so that every time you do schedule a post, you can add that text clip or that information to your post quickly and easily without having to retype. You don't have to copy paste anything. It's just very quick. Okay, so finally, um, let's go over the text clips. Um, so if you have text that you always want to be consistent, like for instance, when I post my fashion fix or my life of the party, I always have the same text in there in my post. I just change the date. And the reason is because I want to be consistent. I want to make sure they always know that, you know, for Life of the Party, for instance, um, I order on the 14th at 9 p.m. Because I'm Pacific Standard Time, I can order a little early, you know, earlier in the, the night instead of midnight. So I, um, I want to tell them it's a pre-order. You need to get your pre-orders in first. So I have specific information every time I post my life of the party each month. So I can create a text clip where um, I don't have to retype that all the time. And it just makes it super easy. Or if you are doing a party, like for instance, here's roll call. Okay, so this is what I put for my roll call um, post. And it just says, you know, comment here with your email address so I can invoice you at the end of the party. Instead of having to type that every time I post the roll, roll call, I can have this text clip. 
Um, here's the rules for my party. I can add that to a post very quickly. Um, same thing with bash and fix and, you know, if I've got drawings and I just, it's, it's, it's an easy, quick way and kind of, kind of a lazy way <laughs> to not have to retype all the time. It's a waste of time. You know, since share is all about saving time, that's what this whole program is based on. So why not type it one time and then just add your text clip and not have to do it again and, and save all that time. So here, see, here's my fashion fix pre-order. Same, says the same thing every time. Um, there's my Facebook group. So every time I have a party, I post a um, join my VIP group post and I add this text clip. It has my, my um, VIP page address and everything already there. Okay, so it's really easy and all you have to do to create a new one is click up here to create new text clip and give it a name, something that you will understand when you see, because when you're in your post scheduler, it's gonna have a drop down and it's gonna have this title, this label. So if you don't know what the text is, you're not, if, if you don't have a good label, you're not gonna know what's in the text clip. Okay, so I'm gonna put my website address okay and then here um, I'm gonna put um, make sure you check out my website at www.com okay so that's my website address and that's all I need so all I have to do is click on this text clip when I want to add it to a post, I'm done. So I'm going to save it. Okay, so that's it. Now, if you want to rearrange these, you can. So um, say I want, I want my quick uh, welcome with rules. I want that to be at the top. See how I get this little um, uh, cross, this little, um, four point arrows here. You just click, hold it, and drag it. And you can drag it all the way to the top. I'm gonna put it right under my web address. So you can rearrange these any way you want to. And then if you had to edit it, you could click on this edit button and it'll just pop that back up and you can retype everything that you need. Super easy. Um, text clips are a great time saver. And that's really all there is on text clips until we get to scheduling. Um, so we're going to go to the scheduler. And then this is where you're going to make create your posts. So as you can see, I already have a whole bunch of things scheduled all the way through. Well, this is most recent of what I've, I've scheduled. If you click here, you can um, see it by scheduled date. So you can sort it. So you can see, okay, um, the 18th. So this is my next post on Wednesday. And I have stuff scheduled all the way through October 29th. So what I use this for, aside from my weekly posts, is... Um, I do a Motivational Monday post in my VIP group. I also do one, um, a motivational post of some kind or inspirational post on my uh, business page. And I like to do them in my team page as well. Now you can see I have my VIP page right here. I have my team page right here. And I have my business page right here. So I've got all three of the ones that I, I schedule regularly right on this page so I can select what um, page I want to schedule to. So this one happens to be, if it's on a Wednesday, I know on Wednesdays I'm scheduling on my business page. This one is a Monday, so that one is going to my VIP page probably. I think Tuesdays I do my team, so that's going to be a team page one. So I kind of know as I'm going along which... Um, 
which ones I'm scheduling. Now, if I want to see this one, because it's very hard to see, you can click right here on this little arrow and it will bring up your post to edit it. Um, actually, I'll show you. Let me let me do that after I post one. Okay, so here is where you're going to type your message, right in this box right here. Now, um, you can type something in here or you can add a text clip. So like if I was doing a party and I am doing a rules uh, post after I select my photo or whatever, um, I have the text clip already ready to go. So um, you could actually select text clips and remember welcome, the quick welcome with rules that I moved to the top. If I click on that, it's going to automatically insert that entire text clip right there. So my message is done. I don't have to type anything. So then I could go and choose my file and find a fun um, picture. So this is a welcome to the party. Let's go to choose file. Uh, let's see if I can find one pretty quick. So parties. Um, let's go to Amy's party. And I've already posted. This is something I've already posted. I don't even know if I can find one quickly enough. Um, well, let's, let's say, maybe I have some down here. I don't have any, I don't know where everything's at on my computer right now, <laughs> obviously. So let's say that, that, um, this is a welcome, welcome post. Okay. So I'm going to select my photo. Okay. So. I, I have my stuff organized, but I don't know where I, I moved my party stuff. Um, so this is what I'm going to post as my welcome post. Ready, set, shop. And then I'm going to put the welcome and have all the rules. And then I am going to select the day. So say my party is on the 22nd, Saturday the 22nd. I'm going to select that date. I'm going to select the time, so my party starts at 3 p.m., 3 o'clock p.m., and you can see, you can do one minute at a time, okay, which is awesome, because when you're doing your inventory pictures, your, your actual jewelry pictures, you could do them a minute apart, and you could be posting a ton of pictures, which is awesome. So... Okay, I want to do this one right at 3 o'clock. Make sure you select AM and PM. Also make sure you're on the right time zone. Okay, those are very important. You don't want to start your party at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time and have this set to Eastern Time and be off on your party. You'll be three hours late. So, um, next, now that I've got my photo and I've got my message and I've got my date, in my time, I'm going to select where it's going to be or where I'm going to post it. Now, if I, for me, I like to create an event on Facebook, on my business page. I do my parties through events so that I can find them easier. People can find them and, and, and join the event. And that way I'm not you know, spamming my entire business page or my VIP group. So normally I would create an event on this page, on my business page, and then I would come in here, refresh my page so that a refresh since share and refresh my networks so that since share says, oh, she created an event. So now that event would normally show under this page. But because I don't have an actual event, I'm not going to not going to do that. So, um, I'm just going to select to the page for now. Okay, so you're going to say, I want this post to post this date and this time on this page. And then all you have to do is scroll down here and schedule your post. So, it's 
gonna think a minute. Or two or three. There we go. Okay. So now you can see I've got it scheduled. So here is, it's in my scheduled posts. So say I forgot to add something to the text and I need to edit this post. You're going to click right here in this little um, triangle, this little drop down, and we're going to go to edit post right here. You can also copy it or you can delete it. I never... I've never really used the copy here. Um, I don't see a need for it because I always have new stuff to post. Um, I've had to delete stuff before, but never copy. Um, so I'm going to edit the post, and it's going to pop right back up like it was a brand new post. Eventually. There we go. Okay, so say, um, gosh, you know, at the end of this, I'm going to add a little more to this text. Now, this is not going to change the text clip that I created. It's just going to change this message. Let's say I want to add another text clip because I want to put my website address on there. I forgot to put that. I can add that right to my post as well. So there we go. So now that it's at the end of my message, and then... Um, if I've got it the way I want it, um, then I'm good to go. Now, you can also save this, save this post into any folder um, that you want so that you can come back and use this same exact post again if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to hit scheduled post again. It's going to put it right back in my my list of scheduled posts to, to show on the 22nd, okay? So that's it for scheduling. It's super easy. You select, and you don't have to use a text clip either. You could just say, you know, you could just type right into this post message box right here, whatever you want to do. Um, now, I'm going to show you how I post. First of all, let me delete that because I don't want that to show up on my page. <laughs> So I'm going to hit delete. So I'm going to show you how to post just uh, a quick, like, inventory piece. Like if I'm going to sell some earrings and I want to set it up for the entire week. I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, I have all my photos in this folder right here. And I'm going to go to... Um, my text clips. I do have a text clip already made. It's called, I call it my product post for an individual product. And you can see it just, this saves just a little bit of time for me to have to not post this every time. So once it shows up, I'm going to go to my photos. I'm going to find my first product called Perennial Party. Oops. Perennial Party Blue. Okay, so this is the item I'm going to post right now. So what I do, and this is my personal preference, the way I post on my page, you can do this however you want. You don't even have to have a, a description in there if you don't use a description. What I'm going to be posting, though, this is my wall drop items. So this that means this item I'm going to post to show up tomorrow at a specific time um, so that I don't have to go and post it tomorrow. So what I do is I take and copy the item's name. And I'm going to come back in here. I paste it. And how many do I have? I have two. So I'm going to put two. Okay, so this is what my format looks like when I post an item on my page. It's just my own preference. I like to have the name so that I can quickly find my items um, fast in my inventory bins. And I always post how many I have and how much it is. But you can see where it saved me time where I didn't have to retype that. So I'm going to choose my file. Click on choose file. I'm going to go to my folder. 
and find perennial party right there. So I'm going to double click that picture. There it is. Those are the item or the item I'm going to post. I'm going to do this tomorrow, which is the 18th. Now I usually start my posts around five. So I'm going to do five. And this time I just pick a random time. I don't like to always post the exact same time every night just because I don't want people sitting at their computer um, and snatching up everything before everybody else does. I have a few people that do purchase from me all the time, but I want to be fair to everybody and have it kind of show up randomly so everybody has a chance to see it, you know, and, and it's not one person that's always watching and grabbing it right away. So I like to kind of do these a little random. So I'm going to say, let's do this at, whoops, 5.18 p.m. on the 18th. This is going to go in my VIP group. Okay, and this, so this is going to be just my VIP post for tomorrow. And then I am going to select, oops, okay, my scroll bar doesn't, scroll doesn't always work. <laughs> um, I am going to post or schedule the post. So that item is now done. Eventually. And what I'll do is I select my earrings for the whole entire week and I select the bracelets I'm going to post for the whole week and the necklaces and the rings and I set them aside so that I see what I'm posting and then I will go through and do that. I'm going to post all my earrings, one for each day. Okay, there we go. So my next item, again, I would come in here, do a product post. Uh, my next one is called Lily Luau. And actually, it's actually just faster to do it this way than go back and forth. So find, I got a lot of inventory, you guys. That's crazy. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to copy my uh, product name, double click it to add the photo. And Oops, how many of those did I have? I don't look. So just a quick note, the way I keep my inventory, I keep one photo for every piece that I have. So if I see four pictures of this particular particular item, I know I have four of those available. It's just a way for me to keep track of how many I have. I have thousands of pieces of inventory and this is just the easiest. So when somebody buys a piece from me, I cut the picture out, put it in their folder, and then now I know I have three. So it's, it's just an easy way for me to, to track how many I have. I don't use a spreadsheet or anything like that. I use photos. It's very fast and it's visual. <laughs> okay, so Lily Luau silver earrings. Those look white to me, but I guess they are considered silver. Okay, um, only four available. I'm going to do this one on the 19th, and I still want to do it at 5, but I'm going to do it at 5.34. It's going to go in my VIP group again. It's ready to go. Schedule post. Now I know that those are done. So I will just go and do that for every single day of the week. Um, then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to start on the 18th again and do my bracelets. And then I'm going to choose just another random time to post all my bracelets around the 5 o'clock-ish, between 5 and 6. That's kind of my power hour that I, I post. And that will have me set up all week long so I don't have to come in tomorrow night and post a bunch of stuff. And then on Wednesday night and post a bunch of stuff. So you can see where it will save you a lot of time. You sit down for a, few, for a little bit on one day, post the entire week, and you're done. Okay, so, so um, that's pretty much it for scheduling posts. This, it's really awesome. Just be mindful of your date and your time and where you're going to be posting it to. Oh, and you know what? Look at this. Look what I did. This is a prime example. 
Okay, so when I posted this and this, I had both of these check marks checked. So shoot, that means now I need to go in and I need to edit both of those posts. Darn it. <laughs> But this is why I say you need to you need to be mindful of what is checked and where it's going because you could accidentally post it to the wrong page and you don't want to do that. So this is a very simple fix. It's just time consuming because my computer's slow. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back in, uncheck that, and schedule post. And then once that's done, I'm going to do that with this one too, and then I'll be done. All right. So now you can see these are out of, um, well, they're in order now, I guess, but they were out of order because we, we were on the, um, or actually we're on scheduled date still. So you can see where it's showing the scheduled date. Okay, so I need to schedule this one. I'm going to edit it. So if you forget which ones you, you just recently um, scheduled, you can click on most recent and it'll pop it to the top so you can remember where what one you just scheduled. I had to do that before because I forget. <laughs> okay, so unschedule that or uncheck that. Schedule post. And that is it. Super, super easy. So now, once this is done, I'm going to show you how to utilize your um, history and your saved photos, your saved posts, to create a Facebook party. And, and to do it in a fraction of the time of actually posting as you go. So right here, you've got Post Library. We're going to click on that. And this is going to show you everything, all of the history of what you've posted in Stintshare. Now, this one is going to be slow <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff to load, but um, this is awesome. This is so, so much easier. Okay, so you have saved, and you can create new folders so that you can find all these posts really easily. So, like this one, it's a Facebook party, and it's a spring theme. So everything that I used for my spring-themed um, parties, I can post in this folder, and then I can click on it and find them quickly. Um, I only have one because I just started this, this folder, but I'm going to show you how to post to it. So your pending, if I were to click on here, you're going to see what um, the posts that I just did. The ones that are waiting to be posted. And those little little scheduled thumbnail things are really hard to see. So you'd be able to see it a lot easier here too. It's just time consuming. I don't know if this is just my computer or if it's just because ThinkShare has got a lot of pictures, a lot of stuff. But it's very slow. So look in here. So you can see these are the two that I just posted. And you can see a nice big square right here. This is when it's going to be scheduled to show. So you can kind of come in here and look and see, especially if you're doing individual um, inventory pieces like this, you can see, um, you know, if I had more, I would have September 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, 22. So you could see where I would have them in order so I can make sure that I got every single day covered. So it's a, a really fast way to see um, what you've got scheduled ahead of time. Um, so anyway, that's what your pending posts are. And you can see I've got a bunch of, of pending posts here. Actually more, they're just not loading. Um, but I'm going to go to History. And I'm going to go to Facebook. And then I'm going to go to... Um, okay, let's see. I, uh, I think... The one I wanted to find, normally I post, I do my parties on my Facebook page, but the one, the spring one, I did in my group, and this was a while back, so um, you can see here's my Facebook events in my VIP group, I click on that, and the one in particular that I'm wanting to see is Amy's Spring Bling 
paparazzi jewelry party. So this one has all my spring themed posts, like my roll call, my welcome, um, my how it works. You know, I spent a lot of time making those individual posts um, with spring backgrounds and stuff like that. So once I did that once and I had the first party, now it's all in Cinch Share and um, it's really easy to go and duplicate this party with just new inventory. I could use the same spring themed images and just add new product. Okay, so this goes in order from, and it, the bottom, of course, is where we start. And this is gonna take a bit because you can see it, it only loads so many at a time. But you can see these posts, 624, 625, 626, 627, 628. These are my inventory pictures. You can schedule them one minute apart to just go bam, 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 and add all these pictures of inventory for people to shop from. Super fast. So as it just takes a minute to get to the very bottom. Look at all this cute stuff I had at this party. Oh my goodness. I don't have much of that anymore, <laughs> but it is cute. And um, so you can see all my inventory, in between the inventory, you want to break it up by throwing in another, like a cute little um, graphic of some kind. Um, like this one says, I have enough jewelry, said no one ever. <laughs> um, so you just break up your inventory every several pieces. Um, here's one that tells, actually this is a game. It's a scavenger hunt game. So I kind of throw that in the middle of my posts. And then um, that just kind of breaks it up. But, you know, when you first do a Facebook party, you, you have the same format for all your parties, or at least you should. You want to post pre-posts a few days ahead of time um, before your party. And you want to share those posts in your event. Like, you know, it's all lead and nickel free. Um, everything's $5.00. Look what you can do with our headbands or our rings or, you know, paparazzi offers eight different kinds of bracelets. You know, informational posts, um, maybe a collage of some of the stuff they're going to get to see just to get people excited about your party. Um, so you want to do, like, here's a sneak peek. Um, I did a collage with a few pieces of jewelry that I knew I was going to show. And I just put sneak peek, just a few examples of $5 jewelry you might see during the party. So this was done on April 15th, and you can see her party was the 18th. So three days before I started posting some stuff in the group or in the event, the party, for um, her party guests to be able to see. So I posted this at 12 o'clock, 12.22 on April 15th. A um, little later, I posted another one that says, what's it made of? You can see the graphic that I created. Um, this one was at 3.44 that same day. All of our paparazzi products are lead and nickel free. Um, then all necklaces come with matching earrings. And another come to the party with just $5. Leave looking like a million bucks. And then did you know. So these were all done. These were all done on the same day. Actually... You know, I probably put them all on, because that's six different posts in one day. I would probably break them up and do three and three. Um, I probably did this because I probably booked this party pretty close to not having a lot of time ahead of time. So that's probably why there's, there's so many on one day. But normally, I would do three one day, three the next. Um, so you can see the next day. Um, I also did six posts, again, probably because I was running out of time. <laughs> um, but ways to use our rings. Here's one, how to use our hair clips. Um, it was Easter time, so I did a happy Easter. Um, hippie headbands, we don't have any more, but, um, you know, you get the idea. Just give some, some ideas of what they will get to see. 
Um, here's one, be sure to invite your friends. Um, you know, a reminder, we don't have a catalog. Um, this is just another re a welcome reminder. Um, so you can see that, you know, this is kind of pre-posts. Are you ready for the party tomorrow? Do a little countdown, you know, like, you know, one day left to party uh, or before the party. Um, here's one that's never been to a Facebook party. This is what happens. Um, these are kind of marking going or interested, you know, what the S means. And then on the day of the party, paparazzi party today, who's excited? And you can see right here, down below here, join this evening, join us this evening at 7 p.m. So her party was central time. And um, so I had to cater it to that time, um, time zone. So I had to be careful when I posted as to what time I was, I was posting it for the party. Um, but you can see each of these has some kind of text. This one does not have a text. And in order to see that, I can just click right on the party, or I mean on the post. So I can click this, maybe. There we go. And then you can see what the post message was. Join us this evening, you know, purchase great jewelry, blah, blah, blah. So um, I'll be posting over 100 pictures. It's just comment sold. So, you know, it gets people excited. Um, but you can, you can actually see what the post message was on each one of these just by clicking on it. So you can see the order. So I've got the welcome. I've got, this is the Facebook party, what you'll need. Um, party starts in an hour, 30 minutes. I do a countdown. Then you've got your welcome to the party. Then you have your roll call post. Then you have the how's this party work. And then you have, you know, post sold or comments sold. Oh, and guess what? I take credit cards. Here's my shipping rates. So all of these posts are always in the same order for a for my parties so rather than starting a party you know just on a whim and forgetting do I which do I post the welcome first or the roll call first or what post goes where um, I can duplicate this party in exactly the same order and then I can change out the posts if I want to but it still gives me um, you know, I, it will remind me that, oh, I, I need to do the welcome party first, then the roll call, then the how it works, then the sold, then my, you know, what credit cards am I shipping? So it makes it really convenient to follow the format of my party. So then I do, a, um, let's get the party started. And then I start posting my, my pictures of my product. And this is where, you know, you just start, um, posting every minute. Schedule something new every minute. Remind them to refresh their screen so that they can see new stuff popping up. Um, and you can see if I click on this product, um, it'll tell you exactly. This is the same format that I use in my VIP group um, to tell what the product is, how many I have, um, and come on. I know it. Click it. Good gravy, my gosh. Oh, I need to refresh my screen, I think. <laughs> well, it's going to pop up. Okay, here we go. I was going to say, it's going to pop up eventually. So you can see my format is exactly the same as when I post in my VIP group. Uh, makes it super quick for me because I just copy paste everything and then just change the name and quantity. Um, so that's what I post for my images. I just keep going through posting every hour or every minute. A little fun post, little game post thrown in there. But see, so I started the party at what time did I start this party? Um. Okay, I started it at 5 o'clock p.m., okay? So, you can see at about 5.30, I want to remind them to refresh the screen. 
Um, then I want to throw in a post right around the 540 something mark. Um, I want to throw in a game about 6 o'clock, about halfway through the party. Um, there's a little information about, you know, who wants to book a party. Um, I post that a little after. Then I remind them to scroll down in case they're missing stuff. That's that's getting closer to the end of the party. Um, oh, I had a duplicate. Whoops. <laughs> um... Then I post at the end of the party, I post that's all that there is, and thank you for your orders, join my VIP group, so I never want to forget to post this stuff as well. Here's how to check out, you know, I mean, there's all the, the little fun posts, if you are been on the fence about trying paparazzi, join my team, so, um, you know, that's my format, and I want all of these types of posts, my, my VIP, my don't forget to shop later. It's okay to shop later. Um, you can join your my team. Um, this is how you pay. You know, I want all those posts always to be in every single party that I do. So, in order to do that, it's really, really easy to keep this format. So, you can... If, so, if I'm scheduling a post or a, a party right now, I could hit repost. And it's going to bring this post up. And it's going to bring me right to the scheduler again. And it's going to let me... So here's my text. I don't need to change it because I want it to just kind of be the same. Um, but now I can choose... Okay, I'm having a party on the 22nd. I can choose the 22nd. Um, this was at... Um, um, what time was it? I forgot what time this was. Um, but whatever time you want to start. So this one was three days before. So you can pick a pick a time that you want to post it. It was three days before. So I'd say actually on the 19th that I want to post this one. And it, this one's just a random time. So you can pick whenever. But you know, you're wanting to do this one three days before the party. And then you hit schedule post. So you can refresh it that way or repost it that way. And then go through... Every single one of those posts, those um, uh, format posts, like these types of posts, not inventory. And you can do those individually if you want to. Oh, this is going to take forever to go back down again. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, so you can repost that way. And then that way you know, you know, like if I get through all those and then I say, okay, my party starts at 3 o'clock. I'm going to... Oh, I'm at the end. I'm going to do my welcome card uh, post when I get, to, whenever it loads. I'm going to hit refresh, and at 3 o'clock at my my party date and time, I'm going to post my welcome to the party. So you can, re you know, this is when it started, so I'm going to just change this, repost it, and change it for 3 o'clock on the new date. And then I'm going to change this one to 301 on the new date. You know what I mean? And then... If you have a different photo that you want to add instead of this one, you can change it when you schedule it. So it makes it really easy to do. Now I can also, um, I want to take these spring themed party posts once it finishes loading. Okay. Um, I'm going to take these. And I'm going to add them to my saved uh, spring theme party. Because that, that way, instead of scrolling through all of this, I can go right to the spring theme one and do exactly what I was doing where I can repost it. Okay? So um, that way I don't have to scroll through all of this. So I'm going to select all of these. And, you know, even though some of these are like sneak peek, I want this post in there so that I remember to post something like this. But when I schedule it, I'll change it out to a new um, collage that has something different than these pictures. Because obviously I'm not going to show these products again. So it's just kind of a placeholder 
showing that that's what I posted about that time on that day. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select every single one of the special format posts that I did. It'll take me just a whoops, second to do. I'm going to skip over all of my um, inventory photos. And so, you know, I made every single one of these um, these posts. And I used, like, springtime backgrounds and things like that. So, um, I don't want to, I want to be able to reuse them every each and every time I have a spring-themed party. That way I'm not re inventing the wheel every time and wasting my time doing all that work again. So that's one of the great things about Cinch here is that I can reuse these posts over and over again. And sometimes you'll want to switch them out. I mean, you don't want your parties to be exactly the same every time, especially if you have um, the same people coming to your parties. Like when I do a party, I open it up to... Um, my party hostess and her guests, and I also open it up to my VIP members because if my VIP members are shopping, it's just going to help her earn more free jewelry and it's going to get me more sales. So I like to do that. Some people don't. Some people like to give it to just the hostess. I always ask the hostess if they're okay with it first because, you know, she may not want everybody else in there. Um, but you know, she wants me to open it up. It's it's just going to benefit her too. So, okay. So I've selected all of my format posts. I'm going to go right up here to this little um, three lines right here. I'm going to click, and I'm going to um, copy, and it's going to ask me what folder that I want to put it in. I'm going to put it in my spring theme folder, and I'm going to copy. Okay. Now, also, real quick, I forgot to show you this too. You can switch to a list view. Okay, posts have been copied. Yay! Um, you can switch to a list view if you want to. And then that way you can also see what um, your messages are. You can't see as easily as far as the photos go, um, but you can switch to that view if you like that view better. I typically like this view just so I can see the images. But, um, so now I can go to spring theme and see all of my posts in one spot. And then I can hit repost really quick and easy. And I want to start with, um, oh, and actually, you know, you can see, um, the number one, two, three. So they've got it ordered where... If I, let's see, so they kind of reorder it backwards. Um, if I want to move this, you see how the number changed? So I would actually want to move all of these up to the top. Oop, there we go. Um, because these are my first posts. But, um... You can see where you can hit post right here. So it it just puts all of your format for this particular party right in one folder. And then I can schedule all of these. And then I can go back and I can add my inventory in between each of these posts. So my format is always the same. All I have to do is add inventory. Super, super fast and easy. I love it. It, it cuts down your time to practically no time at all to get a, a Facebook party scheduled. So hopefully this um, has been helpful. Um, again, if you need help with anything in Since Share, you can click on this user guide. Um, it's got video tutorials. It's got the getting started. Um, you can see I probably clicked on one that'll take forever to open. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. You can see how to schedule a post in Sense Share, and it has exactly step by step 
with the little picture of what it looks like and everything. And they have all kinds of information about how to do everything in here. Really, really easy. It's a wonderful program. Um, I really highly recommend this one. Um, oh, and I was going to show you the app that you have app that you have to add to your Facebook. Um, so that's pretty much it for Sense Share, though. So um, hopefully you find, found that useful. So in order to add Sense Share to your VIP group, you're going to click on your group. And you're going to go to, um, go to the top, click on more, because you're going to go to edit group settings. You're going to scroll down to a place called apps. And then you're going to hit add app. Okay, it must be my computer. Good grief. And then you're going to find the Cinch Share app in here. So you can type in Cinch, um, Cinch Share. Should pop up. Okay. Well, it's under. Oh, I bet you it's not coming up because I've already added it. It probably doesn't show if I've added it. So, um, but it is under. Let's see. It's under one of these two, utility or business. I can't remember which one, but you should be able to um, search it. So if it's if it's in here and you haven't already added it like I have, it'll pop right up and then you click on um, this. You click on it and hit add. I'm not going to do that to mine. And it'll add it right to your, your page. And then that's all you have to do. This is giving permission for Facebook to allow Sync Share to post. And you go down here and you hit save. And you're done. That's it. So, all right. Well, I hope that you guys found some use out of this video. Um, if you have questions or want to leave a comment, um, feel free to do that. You can message me on Facebook or um, visit my VIP group here or uh, um, visit my vis business page. It's facebook.com slash paparazzi. Um, you can uh, check out my website. It's www.bedazzlemepretty.com. And, um, yeah, like I said, just leave me a comment or, you know, a thumbs up if you appreciate this, uh, this uh, video and it found, you found it helpful. I, that would be wonderful. All right. Thanks for, for checking it out. And I hope you guys have a good night.